welcome to Robin's Realm Readings. Today is um, February 10th, Monday. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to shuffle my good tarot cards for you. Welcome back, subscribers. Welcome in if you're new to my channel. I, I just really want to tell you that. I'm doing this because I love you guys. So I'm going down through all 12 signs. And I'm only going to pull out one card for the energy of the day for you. Something for you to focus on. I've already done my Reiki energy this morning. And I have cleared myself. So here we go, loves. This is for Aries. I may pull clarifiers on these too. Just one, if I need to. If something comes up as awkward to me, I will pull on it. Okay. Let me see what we have. Okay, so Aries, your main card today is the Two of Coins in Reverse. You have to focus on what you want. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You have to focus on what you want. Uh, the Spirit says to me, tell them to pick one. It's like you're trying to handle too much at one time. And you need to choose something to focus on today, Monday, February 10th. That isn't a distraction for you. That isn't too much to bear. And I also heard, cast your cares off under the divine for you are loved. Give me a clarifier on this, please, for my Aries people. Thank you. Knight of Cups, don't make any offers you cannot keep. Don't accept any offers that are not sincere. And somebody might have to leave a water sign behind. Clarify. Because it's just so much. So you might have too much on your plate. Carrying too much. Walking away from a water sign or they're walking away from you because it's just too much battle scar. Okay, Aries, that's yours. Taurus. You're coming up as the Five of Swords in reverse. You're just absolutely done with competition. You're done with your brain being wrapped around things you can't fix. You don't need to have excess um, worries right now. And uh, so you've taken your mind and you said, you know what? I I'm not going to allow myself or punish myself for the way you think about me or what you're going through. I'm going to follow my own path. So clarify that for me, for Taurus, please. Thank you, spirit energies. I am channeling the clearest guides that I can through divine white light, through love, through healing for, for you. I'm sending you all love and joy and happiness today, balance, instruction, discipline, whatever it is that you need, spirit has it for you. Just ask. Five of air in reverse for Taurus, please. These two want to come out. Someone will be watching you, but they don't want to tell you the truth or you're not going to reveal it to them. It could be you are watching someone from the background. Page of Swords. And then you have the King of Swords. He says he's in reverse. So he, this person could very well be a liar. Okay, I'm just going to come right out and get right to it. Whoever you're dealing with, if it's a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Someone's watching you. You've got a lot of swords, Taurus. King of Swords is usually very kind. He has a great, a great amount of common sense and dignity. He uses logic and, and practicality to get things done. Mental. But he's in reverse with this weak card of the Page of Swords. Now, you could be looking for a way out of this kind of trauma. This is what I'm getting. Don't take anybody up on their offers right now. Just stay to yourself, and you can keep peace. That's what I'm hearing. All right, so now we have Gemini. Ooh, Gemini, look at this. You feel, this may be a really good day for you guys. Feeling grounded, feeling wealthy in many ways, probably more than one. You're finally feeling really good today. You're making bank, money. That's what I hear for you. King of Coins, this is, the, this is the energy of being grounded and stable, knowing where your money is, having income, having increase, um, but staying very, very grounded, and maybe investing, too, as well. It looks really good for you. Give me a card for Gemini's King of Earth. 
clarify this please for them you could also have attracted a Taurus Virgo Capricorn that, that wants to marry you or settle down with you or love on you clarify please temperance Ooh, you guys are taking your time on something good you're balancing things out and getting grounded one more please Gemini four of Pentacles yeah you're saving your energy you're containing your passions yay yep you're not making any fast moves good for you Gemini cancer your card is the ace of air you've got clarity you're seeking clarity you want to know you want to know what's going on and you're going to find it because those who seek find that's what I've been told those who seek will find clarify for me uh, cancer's card of Ace of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, alertness, a new idea, a new thought, um, a change of mind, a spiritual connection, divine inspiration, divine guidance, uh, clarity on some matter. Even if it's just as simple as just sitting down and having a conversation. Eight of Cups walking away from something. Um trying desperately to stay in a state of peace of mind cancer um, you're still not finding your peace of mind but in the meantime you're definitely going to search for your answers all right it's just a quick read for y'all i love you all right so now we're at leo whoa leo got the high priestess well well leo hello babies so what are you doing are you trusting yourself are you doing what's exactly right for you? Are you containing energy within your being? Are you holding back talking about something? Are you keeping secrets? Are you building yourself up from the inside out? She knows. She knows. She knows. And the number two tells me that you have an interest of somewhere, someone to support you. Leo, what's going on with High Priestess today, please? If you guys like these rundown readings, I need you to tell me so that I can do them for you on a regular basis. I would like to know your feedback. If you really like it, hit the like button. Subscribe to my channel. Give me comments. Tell me what you think. I love you. I'm here to give you some encouragement and connect you spiritually. Okay, here we go. It means you finally have, look at two and two. Some of you have found your soulmates. Some of you, Leos, have found your partner or someone who sees you eye to eye is willing to work with you. Two of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Nine of Pentacles. Being grounded, being secure, being single for now, but, but uh, definitely addressing financial issues security making sure this person is the right one that's what i get for leo whoever that is friend family lover all right now we got virgo seven of earth working on what you've already established working on yourself taurus virgo capricorn energy you guys are working on yourself you're going back and you're examining everything you've built, what it meant, how you did it, how'd you nurture it, how'd you till it. What are you working on today? Let's take a look. Virgo, got the seven of coins. Establishing, building, protecting what you've built, looking into it, stabilizing your life, the moon, having, um, dreaming of expansion, dreaming of um, having fantasies about what could happen. Tell me this is also Pisces energy. Tell me what else we want to see here. And the King of Cups. King of Cups is pure love. All right. So the King of Cups and the Moon. Some of you, some of you Virgos are in touch with the uh, Pisces perhaps. And you are in love, or they're in love with you. And you're looking back going, well, what did we just build? What what did I do? Should I protect it? Should I try my hand at this relationship? They do want to give me love, but there's, there's some kind of dreamy untruths 
showing up. You may be sweet and, and, and have a big, big heart, but I'm worried about what I've worked on already. I've worked on myself, and I've tilled this garden in here. I don't know if I want to just hand it over to you. That's what I'm getting, Virgo. Leo, I mean Libra, excuse me. Libra has the Four of Cups in reverse. Four of Cups, this is where somebody comes to you and they make an offer. And you sit back and you go, well, there's nothing spectacular about that offer. You've got to show me more. You have to show me more. I, I, I just don't, you don't stand out for me. You just don't stand out for me right now. It could be a Cancer Scorpio Pisces. Four of coins, four of cups in reverse. Could be one of two things, depending on your circumstances. And this isn't going to apply to every one of you. But the four of cups in reverse is, it's either the extremist of really holding back and never accepting any offers. I am and will always be single. Or, you're suffering some kind of depression. And it's because you can't seem to get your heart lined up with your goals or something isn't balanced. Seven of Pentacles in reverse. So this could very well be um, not knowing where you stand with somebody, not knowing, Libra, uh, what they're bringing to the table. They may not be willing to work on it like you. And you know this. You're at the crossroads trying to decide, what do I do with this? Well, what do they do with this spirit? The moon came up again. You know, Leo is showing this energy as well. A lot of the same cards. So, I mean Virgo. So here's what I have. Virgo in reverse. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is you. At the crossroads trying to decide something you don't want to see. Maybe you don't want to see it because you're in a fantasy place. you got to pull your head out. What's your advice for them, please? Advice is to move away from this. Allow yourself to move away from what it is that's bothering you. Right? Scorpio. Two of Wands. So now you're at the crossroads. You've made a choice. You're, you're making a choice. You, you want to know where to put your energy, where to focus your attention right now. What's going to serve you best, and how are you going to get there? Of course you are, Scorpio. All right? Let me see. Tell me what Scorpio needs to know about this uh, decision they're making. And tell me what this subject matter is. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Okay, Scorpio. Boom. 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 Oh, okay. Okay, 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 okay. So Scorpios are trying to make a decision about how to deal with a Leo, perhaps. Uh, this doesn't have to be a Leo. It could be a state of mind. It could be not feeling your perky best, not feeling healthy. Wanting this health and this, this sunshine to come upon you. Wanting to be strong and healthy. And maybe not quite so much today. But yeah, Page of Pentacles. This is an offer of something stable. Either you want to make it or you're expecting someone to make it. But I think you're the one reaching out. And you're going to make some kind of an offer. It looks financial to me. I know that's what I'm doing today. I'm really digging in my heels and making a choice today. All right, about finances. So this could be what you're dealing with today is finances, stability, long-term gain, what's going to work out in your best interest, whether it be love or money. Bless you, Scorpio. Sagittarius, you're coming up as the page of water in reverse. This is Cancer Scorpio Pisces energy. This is an offer. This is a small. Would you like to go out and have lunch? Would you like to talk? Would you would you hear me out if I came to you to talk with you? Page of page of coins. Page of water. This cup is in reverse. So they're either you're not giving an offer or you're not receiving one. Let's see. What do we have for Sagittarius? Page of water. What is that message? Someone sends you a message and you don't trust it. That's what it is. Clarify it. Two of Wands in reverse, you're not making a decision on it because you don't have all the details. So, yeah, and the Three of Cups is in reverse. So you think that whoever's making this peace offering is in it for themselves. 
and it doesn't make any sense to you. I get it. Okay, Sag. Capricorn. Ooh, Ten of Wands under a little bit of a burden here. What's the burden, Caps? What's going on, Capricorn? Why do you feel like you've got the weight of the world on you? Do you have too many projects going on? Are you, are you all over the place? Take a nice deep breath, babes. Take a nice deep, long breath. Breathe in, breathe out. Eliminate some of this. Tell me what Capricorn needs to do with this energy. First of all, you pop, oh, 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 love, love, emotions, and power. So you have a, a water sign here in your experience, male or female, that's lording it over on you. They're lording it over on you. I have everything you want. I am the one, except she's in reverse. This is not a nice person. I'm just telling you, this is not a nice person that you're dealing with. She, this person doesn't have good motives for you, so really consider why you're feeling these burdens. You're feeling them and, and sensing them because they're real. You have the Knight of Cups here, which means that you can make a truce offer. Uh, you're sincere. They are not. All right, just so you get it. Whoever this is, cross watchers, don't take offense. It's just a uh, <clears throat> daily reading. All right, Aquarius. Look, you guys. This is awesome. You may be dealing with a Leo. Fire sign. You're in a healing place today. Today, Aquarius. I speak healing over you. You need revival. You need to feel strong again. You need to be certain where your feet are standing. You need to be out in the sun, out with your feet on the ground, enjoying life, calling in divine guidance, and feeling strong and healthy. That's what you need. Clarify, please, what we're getting for this. Clarify this for Aquarius, please. The sun card for Aquarius. Oh, that's because you don't feel so good. Some of you are dealing with a water sign that has made you feel like shit. Not, that's what I get. When you get the star card in reverse and the queen of cups in reverse with the sun, you're seeking healing from being from someone who's taking your time or promising something they don't mean. And the reason you know this, so you're not going to waste your healing on someone who doesn't deserve it. Okay? It's just that simple. Here you are in reverse. There you are. Star card. You want the sun and the star upright. How do they do that? Put down these swords. Tell this, tell this energy that's in your space, needing and demanding your time, making promises they can't keep. You don't have the energy for that. And you're not going to give up your healing for just anybody. So make your choice. Be safe. Be good to yourself. Okay? Now we got our beautiful Pisces. Six of all oh, Pisces. You're so in your emotions right now. You're so in your heart right now. You really are. Looks like you're remembering good times. You're remembering... Um, you could actually have tapped into someone from a past life or tapped into past life energy and it's got you all up in your feels. Remembering what made you feel good. Remembering times of fun and love and joy and balance. Pisces. What does this mean? Well, I can truly say that whatever it is you're remembering, you have to leave it in the past. Because the moon is deception energy. It's your own card. You're not feeling your best right now, are you? Even though you're in this state. You're not feeling fully yourself for some reason. You don't feel very lucky at the moment. But that can change. It changes from day to day. The wheel goes either direction. And it responds to your psychic energy. Your choices, your decisions. The Three of Pentacles is in reverse. And it could be that you're just remembering a, a relationship that failed. Because there was someone else involved in it. 
Oh my god. Okay, I've got a few more minutes. I'm going to do a, I'll do a general reading for everyone. Let's take a look at you and the person you're dealing with. It could apply to any one of you, any one of you, any one of you, okay? So let's see, what does the Spirit want to say today to you guys? So the main energy in, that you're showing up as, whoever this is for, Queen of Wands. Look, I got a lot on my plate, she says. I have a lot on my plate. Don't put any more on it, please. I know where I'm going. I know what I need to do. What is the other person's energy? Five of Wands. So they know you're not going to fuss with them. This is competition. This is other opinions, other energies, other projects, throwing monkey wrenches into your plans, uh, competing with you. Well, you're, there is no competition, whoever you are. Fire signs. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Maybe I'll do it that way. So here's the fire signs message. What's the energy between you? Wheel of Fortune in reverse. This will not go good. Whoever you're dealing with, this will not go good, fire signs. I'm being led to read to you in this way, so let me do it. Love you. Clarify all these reversals. Ooh, wow. I knew it. Clarify these. Okay, fire signs. I'm not going to read these. The magician in reverse is someone who could do anything they wanted. They can take whatever they have. They can go to the bank. They can use their logic. They can, they can take the coin. Use their sword for logic and common sense. They can take the wand, which is their energy that gets them to the bank. Let's say this is an example. And they can uh, transfer the coin and make something of it. But when the magician is in reverse... This is someone who doesn't feel strong enough to be doing that at the moment, or they're incapable of it today. Queen of Cups in reverse with the Wheel of Fortune in reverse is that there somebody either doesn't want to end this with a water sign, they don't want to end it, they don't want this, this um, karmic wheel to stop, and of course the karmic wheel won't stop unless you stop it. And there you have this energy between you of, there's not enough love. There's not enough emotion. There's not enough kindness. This person that could be in competition with you has decided to retreat. We have Virgo energy. They're retreating back and they're going, nope, I, I'm going to really retreat right now. And I'm going to figure out how to solve this problem. Yep. And that's what I have for today for fire signs. Let's take a look at air signs. What's going on with you, Ari Gemini, Libra, Aquarius? I was just going to do one collective and Spirit said, here's how you do it. So I'm going to listen because obedience is better than sacrifice and it always works out better for me that way. Air signs. Okay. Your energy. Wow. Their energy. Whoa. What's going on between you? Well, isn't that special? Aquarius. We're in the Aquarius time right now. Um, this is feeling well, being led by, the, by, by divine guides, Gemini, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You're in a really, really good place right now. You're working on building your stability, and your person is working on building stability. This is about home. This could also be the divine revelation of a, of a soulmate that you have just met. This is the revelation. The messenger of air is you finally get a message or you get to send your message to someone and either get a new home, build a relationship, stabilize yourself. Wow. Messenger of air is the deliverer of a message, and I love it. Tell me, please, excuse me, clarify these for me for air signs. Not going anywhere. Eight of Cups, staying still. King of Swords in reverse. Somebody, though, may send you a message. But I do think, what's the advice with these two? Air signs. Trust your intuition. Trust your intuition about this offer that's coming in from a King of Swords. Another air sign. Possibly. King energy. 
Um, he's not very stable at the moment, but he means well. Okay, he means well. So you've got a double king energy here. King of Wands is um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and they are passionate, and they are driven. This is someone who's driven to seek you, and this is the high priestess. So your advice is take time to stay in your healing space. Do not let anyone invade it. You can promise me the moon, but unless you hand me the star, I'm not taking it. That's what I get, air signs. Okay? Water signs. Let's see, Cancer Scorpio Pisces. Whoa. We know you're making a choice today. I think you're choosing you. You're choosing stability, no matter what that takes. Water signs. Your energy, their energy. Whoa. Whoa, and the energy between you. There is a, a, a penchant for love and affection here. Someone's trying to prevent a disaster, uh, a loss. The tower is in reverse. You water signs are coming up with the tower in reverse. And you know you have to shift something. You have no choice. You have to follow your heart to do so. Uh, your other person is feeling left out in the cold, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. They are feeling left out of love from you. Wow. All right. Clarify these for me, please. What does this mean to the water signs? Yeah, you uh, you may not be doing so good financially. You're really willing to open up and change whatever needs to be changed. But you're very much sincere about an offer you want to make, very sincere about it. But this person's showing up as the tower. Again. So you have two people who are actively experiencing withdrawal, sudden change when it comes to love and cooperation. Ace of Cups, Knight of Pentacles, the offer is there. What's going to happen? This is not going to be worked on because somebody doesn't trust somebody. There is deceit and there is malaise. I don't really know what to do with this. So I don't know what to tell you guys. It's very dramatic. Two towers. Two towers trying to prevent a terror moment. Okay, earth signs. Here we go. Let's lay out the earth sign energy. Your energy and theirs. The person you're dealing with most predominantly in love. Your energy, their energy. Wow. Earth signs. See, I knew you were having an issue. Remember, you came up with the Ten of Wands. Capricorn, was it? So there is um, someone not telling the whole truth, nothing but the truth. The Queen of Swords has pulled back her sword and pulled back her energy. She has withdrawn for some reason. You don't have clarity from a feminine or you don't feel very clear. You certainly don't know what to do with this person. They're not feeling well. They're not in their best en energy at this time. This is a star card, Aquarius. This person's in reverse. They're not in their best energy. So nobody's actually sending any messages between each other right now, especially in romance. You're just kind of sitting there looking at it. Okay, clarify these for me, please. Earth science. Okay, so yeah, you know, you already know who you are, Earth Signs. You know that you get the victory and people are acknowledging what you've done, but you're not going to let it go to your head. I love that. This message that's not being delivered is because someone is afraid that that'll, it'll cause them an extra a burden. They're afraid that they'll be obligated and they want to withdraw. So if there's withdrawal energy between you and your other person. The star card is in reverse because this person can't control their passions. They are in fantasy. They're not telling the whole truth. They could be balancing you and someone else. And uh, something's going to change for this person. The world card is here to tell us that that person's going to go through trauma. Even though you're going to stay stable. Yep, and single. Well, that's your reading, you guys. Tell me what you think. 
Love you very much. Have a good day. Bye.